Hello, I'm Dr. Glenn, resident vet for Vet and Pet Direct, talking today about the different options you've got to help your dogs or cats' dental needs. Principally, dental care all starts with diet. Um, dogs and cats aren't designed to chew their food and grind it up. They're designed to cut it into pieces small enough to eat, and that's the way their dentition has been evolved over time. If they're fed a diet that they don't have to chew much, it's really soft and they don't need to cut pieces off it, that encourages the formation of tartar and dental disease. Things like um, raw meaty bones of the right type, um, in my opinion, are very good for teeth, um, both for dogs and cats. Diets that have got larger pieces that they can chew on are certainly effective. There are veterinary prescription diets like dental diets that are larger irregular biscuits. Some of those biscuits are just significantly larger than normal biscuits, so they just need to chew them before they can swallow them. Some of them have got some enzymes in there that can help to enzymatically dissolve away some of the tartar that's there. There's dental treats certainly that can help and in general the harder the treat the more cleaning effect it has on the teeth. Uh, there is some dental treats that have got some enzymes in there as well that can help to dissolve and minimise some of the tartar and plaque that's already built up but most of them come down to mechanical clearance. Stepping on from uh, chewable treats and uh, ed edible treats basically are uh, things like nylon bones and dental treats that are longer lasting, they're not actually um, fully edible but the dogs um, can chew on them, um, they've got flavours in them, they've got some enzymes in them that can help to dissolve away that tartar as well. Brushing can really help as well. Uh, some pets, not all pets, but some pets can be um, trained to like and tolerate brushing and some people are prepared to put in the work to do that. Um, there's a few articles that we'll link to on how to train your dog and cat to have their teeth brushed. Um, there's a number of different choices in brushes. You can get little finger brushes, you can get finger brushes that you can hold in the palm of your hand or longer brushes. Uh, it just depends on what works for you and what works for your pet. Definitely a uh, nice tasting, or nice for the pet, tasting toothpaste can help. Um, you want to make it as pleasant an experience as possible um, using toothpaste uh, with the brush and getting them used to the toothpaste first can really help to just mechanically keep those teeth clean, massage the gums, get underneath the gums a little bit and all the important spots. Um, you can get little dental pads which can help to just abrade the teeth a little bit and try and remove some of that plaque and tartar. Stepping on from there, um, there's dental gels and sprays that have got enzymes that again can help to minimise that plaque build up and you can spray them directly into the mouth. Um, there are in water additives that you can put. Um, most of them are antimicrobial or antibacterial in effect and that just reduces the amount of bacterial load in the mouth that can help to minimise further plaque buildup. Um, some of them have got enzymes in there as well. Um, there's um, plaque off which is a um, dietary supplement. Um, it is a um, seaweed extract that has been shown to have some effect at minimising plaque buildup. So those things can help as well. But really it's a combination of um, good veterinary care, um, good diets that have your pets chewing as much as possible um, without wearing their teeth out and breaking their teeth on super hard articles, um, minimising the amount of bacteria that's in their mouth um, and hopefully ending up with a mouth that lasts for as long as possible for your pet and is as comfortable as possible for your pet. Hope that helps. Thanks guys.